Hello, good morning. This is Dave Allen for Mactronic Questions, and today we're going to have a look at GPG Tools. This is an open source version of PGP, which is pretty good privacy. And the reason we're looking at this is because we looked at the other security option yesterday, which was Dropkey, and we found that it didn't work quite as well as we thought it should have done. It wasn't quite as seamless in getting it to work on multiple computers. In fact, it doesn't work on multiple computers with the same password key, whereas this one does. So first of all, you need to go to gpgtools.org and click on this GPG Tools Installer. Make sure you go to this one where you've got a download of 51 megabytes and make sure you get all of the stuff here. So click on this, download it, and then install it on your computer. And we'll take it from there. Two of the main components that you get with GPG is this keychain access. And you also get a section within your system preferences. So let's click on GPG preferences there. And you've got your default key. You've got the key server that you're going to upload your keys to. And that's about it, really. That's uh, not much more you need. You can change to a different key server if you wish, but uh, I'd probably better leave it as the one that is default. So how do we get using this? Well, first thing that you need to do is you're going to make yourself a new key. So let's make a new key. And I'm going to click on new and put the name in there and the email address that I'm going to work with. Click on this one for max20q at gmail.com. You can use that one if you want to contact me and ask me how to do things on the Mac. So let's click on generate the key. I would suggest that you use one password to generate a passphrase for you because if you forget your passphrase there is absolutely no way that you're going to be able to get into any of the files that you encrypt with this service. Get yourself a passphrase, put it in there and click on OK. One more thing to note is that a passphrase is it's just a password but just a little bit longer. So I went into one password, generated a key, it's about 20 characters long. I'm going to click on OK. And it's asking me to put it in again to make sure I got it right. So that's uh, well and good. Paste that in there. Click on OK again. So now that we've created our public and private key, our key pair in GPG Tools, what we can do is we can have a look and see what that public key actually looks like. So let's go into our text editor of choice. And mine is TextMate. And see what it looks like. Here. So I can send this public passphrase to somebody else, or the public key to somebody else. And I can do that by going to Services and Insert My Key. And the key we're going to choose to insert is the one that we've just made, which is for Mac20Q. And click on Choose Key. So that's what a public key block looks like. And people can take this key, as it is here, and import it into their keychain, their GPG keychain. OK, so that's that public key, and it doesn't matter who looks at that, because if you've got my public key, it is not possible for you to work out what my private key is. So the way that this works is the same sort of thing with drop key, but a little bit more technical, a, bit more, a little bit better. The public key is available for anyone to look at and to use to encrypt a document and send it to me. And because I've got the private key, only I can decrypt that file or that email. And you do get integration with Mail with this. So let's go to Mail now and see how this works. For this to work, what you need is you need the public key of whoever you're going to send an encrypted email to. And you also need a private key that you can use that is going to give you the encryption uh, signing. So and let's do an email message we're going to send to mac20q.com. So let's click on this. And we're going to send it to mac20q at gmail.com. That's the one that we just made. And this one's going to say test email. That's the information I'm going to put in there. And we're going to click on send because we've got both of these clicked. Click to encrypt and encrypt to sign. And here is our test email I've just sent out. Let's click on that. And this is the PGP message within there and it can't be read. So there you go. It has been encrypted and it can't be unencrypted by anybody along the way and I'm going to go to the pictures folder and I'm going to choose an image here this one will do okay so what I want to do now is I'm going to take this image and I'm going to encrypt it so let's just uh, do a tap on that for a double click click on services and we're going to encrypt file 
we have other options there that we can use. We can verify signature of a file if it's one that's been encrypted already. We can sign the file, have it ready for encryption. We can import a key from the file. So if that's got some of these PGP key in there, we can bring that into our keychain access. But what we're going to do is we're going to encrypt it. So let's click on encrypt and we'll encrypt it with this one here, the one we've just uh, done there. And for the secret key, we're going to use this one here, Max20Q as well. So it's going to be signed and encrypted. It can be encrypted to be looked at by more than one person on there. So let's click on OK. You have to put your key phrase in there. Click on OK. I get a ground message to tell me that it's been encrypted. This here. So here's the one that I just encrypted. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to decrypt that. So I'll double click on that there. And it has to be verified. And I'm going to click on OK. How can I tell it's been decrypted? Well, I need to go back to my pictures folder. And I can see that I've now got an extra image. So it's as simple as that for encryption and decryption of files. So if you have a few questions about how to use this, you can ask. If you're not seeing some of those services available, then what you need to do is you need to go to the keyboard section in your system preferences. Go to services. In services, you want to go to OpenPG. Make sure that all of these are clicked upon here. So we need to have a tick in each of these ones here. And also further down, you'll see some more as well. So what we need here is we need this decrypt selection, encrypt selection. Let's just go back to a text file and select something and see how this encrypt selection works. I'm going to select that. Do the right click on this here, go to services. And now I can encrypt selection. I'm going to encrypt the selection with this key here. And use the secret key of Max20Q to do that one there. And click on OK. So now that bit is encrypted. How about that then? So you get a bit more variety of things that you can do with this. It's a bit more versatile. You can encrypt selections. You can encrypt files. You can encrypt whole emails. So there you go. GPG or pretty good privacy in the open PGP format. Give it a try and try sending some emails to me that have been encrypted. And if you want to do that, I'll send you my public key. But by now a review of OpenPGP and GPG and how to do some encryption. Don't forget to click on the like button for this video in YouTube. And if you're looking at it on the site, you can click the like on there as well. There's a thing at the top on the right of the video. And you can also subscribe to the videos from Mac 20 Questions and for Wizard Gold on the Wizard Gold YouTube channel, just to make sure that you don't miss out when I upload new videos. Bye bye now. Talk to you again soon. Thank you.